what's up dear friends welcome to my latest video on close to Neresheim or Neresheim Monastery on my youtube channel miles to adventures and I'm Dr. Ajinkya Shinde here's a small preview of what's going to be coming next in the video so don't forget to watch till the end The Neresheim Kloster is located in the middle of Herzfeld area of Baden-Württemberg, South Germany, on top of the Ulrichberg mountain on the outskirts of Neresheim town. This map shows the location of Neresheim county in the Ostal district. We started our short journey from Aalen, which is the main city of Ostal district, towards Neresheim Monastery and the journey takes around 30 minutes. Along the way you pass through some of the most pristine towns and villages of Hetzfeld area like the town Ebnat which we just crossed and the town Elchingen which has the airport of Aalen and in this part of the video you see that we are approaching Neresheim town. One can see the monastery on top of the hill Upon entering the town of Neresheim, you get a better glimpse of the huge monastery located on top of the mountain. Once in the town, you pass the most beautiful and historical buildings like the Hetzfeld Museum, the Hetzfeld Bahn, Historical Railway Station, or Hetzfeld Museum Bahn, Rathaus, Neresheim, and Gasthaus Kron. The founding of the monastery of Neresheim dates back to 1095 AD when the Count Hartmann I of Dillingen and his wife Countess Adelheid of Kyburg in Switzerland dedicated the castle located on this place to the service of St. Peter's through Pope Urban II of Vatican so that the church became one of the first Roman Catholic churches in this, in this area and has remained so till today. The Neresheim Monastery was destroyed several times during its 925 years of history due to various battles and fires that happened in this area. Historical records show that after such a fire and a lot of aging of the monastery building, the authorities of the monastery under the able leadership of Abbot Aurelius Braish decided to rebuild the monastery in 1747. Balthasar Neumann was given the charge as an architect to rebuild this monument structure. In 1750 the work finally began and the construction lasted for 42 years and was completed in 1792 AD. For the Frieskos, the very famous Martin Knoller was put in charge who had already worked in the famous Milana Dome and Vienna's churches. Together, Balthasar Neumann and Martin Knoller created the last and the youngest Baroque church in Europe. The buildings we see today are from the 18th century. The housing quarters for the monks and the other buildings on campus were subsequently added to create one of the Europe's most beautiful monasteries to date. Now you can enjoy some amazing aerial views of the monastery shot on a beautiful summer foggy morning. Thank you for watching the video.